Hey guys, welcome to another week here at the Geek Course. And today we're gonna go really basic on how to escape the Ghost Guard. And so, first off, we just have to look at the scenario and see what does the guy on the bottom want, right? And to say the least, like, Ghost Guard is a really bad place to be because in a BJJ, there's very little that I can do to attack Christian but the only thing that I can really do is start to escape so I can actually start fighting, right? And he wants to break my posture. He wants to start making angles, going for the arm bars, the triangles, umpadas, and so on and so on, right? And so I have to be aware that he's trying to attack my neck, my arms, right? And so I'm going to always stay tight here, no matter what. Like I can grab his belt to begin with and stay tight and make sure that my posture is not falling down, right? So. You'll start to see it like this. When you grab a belt, you have something to push yourself upwards with, right? If you're putting your hands on the floor, it's very easy for him to bring you down. So you always have to create this frame here so that you can stay up, okay? He's gonna fight with his hands and that's when I'm starting to fight his hands as well. And so what you will notice is he's gonna grab maybe with one sleeve or maybe grab the collar. You're gonna have to break it and now I always like to grab the sleeve here and start punching it down, okay? When I'm punching this sleeve down here, I'm gonna go for both collars on the top here, okay? And when I'm grabbing both collars, I'm putting my uh, pointing finger in between and I'm basically grabbing with my thumb and the rest of my fingers on the other side like this, okay? So it's kind of like a zipper. So you're grabbing both collars here. And the reason why I'm grabbing both collars is basically because you don't want it to slip to one side, right? The gi can easily slip, but once you're grabbing both like this, it can't go to either side. And this way you have a stable frame on top of this chest. And now with this sleeve grip, I'm punching his wrist under this arm here. Now I can trap this arm with my elbow. Like I can bring it and trap it, right? This way, I'm buying myself some time before he can get this moose, right? Most of the time, it's gonna be a fight here for sure. Like he's gonna be bringing this arm out. You're gonna to have to bring it back in and then fight to, for, to get this position again, right? Now, what I've done is basically isolated one side here. And when I've done that, I made a safe path for my leg to come up, okay? So when I step up here, if his arm was free, most likely he would take my leg and sweep me to the side. And we're talking mount, arm bar, all kinds of attacks. And this is a really, really bad position for me to be in, okay? And so once I've done this, I made a safe path for me to come up on my leg here, okay? And now he has no arm to start counting my stand-up, okay? Always make sure though, right? Look at my posture. I never wanna be too far down here. It's gonna be really easy for him to get me out of my base, right? I have to know where my legs are standing. If I'm leaning too far away from my legs, it's gonna be really bad uh, to keep the balance, right? So I wanna keep my balance by being right on top or right on, in, how should I say, in line with my legs and where I'm standing, okay? So once I have one leg on the, uh, on the ground, I'm gonna look to bring the other one. And there's several, several ways to do that. You could just step up, right? Or you can turn your leg a little bit out to the side like this and twist and so you come up, okay? Once I'm here, you'll see there's a lot of attacks that he can still do, okay? You have to be aware of uh, the beginner sweep, the basic one where he can grab both my legs, let his hips down and push me back, okay? This is classical and if he has the chance to do it, he will do it, right? And so I have to make sure that I'm at least still holding the sleeve. I can let go of the collars now. This is not that important anymore, right? But having the sleeve prevents exactly that move, okay? With the other hand, I can start pushing his legs, okay? Now, another attack that you might see is if my legs are too slim here or too tight together. He can close his legs around my knees, and this is really bad. Because if he's grabbing my sleeves now, <laughs> my really short sleeves, he can just sweep me to the side and it's gonna be a really bad time, okay? So 
you're gonna have to make sure that your legs or your stance is actually pretty wide, okay? So still having the sleeve, I have a pretty wide stance. I'm gonna bring this knee down here, okay? As soon as I'm here, I like to either start passing or I'm gonna disengage and re-engage on my own terms, right? Let's say I'm not, I don't like passing to the side, so I'd rather go out and start passing to the other side, right? So starting from the beginning, a little bit faster now. Promise not to go through all the details. Sleeve here, stand up, and here we go. Keeping the sleeve, push the leg down. I can start working, for example, for the pass, or disengage and start working a different way, okay? So definitely a very basic move, uh, but I think it's really important to get it out there. You know, if you don't know this, if you haven't been to <laughs> Jiu Jitsu yet, it's basically one of the first things you learn if you go in the door. But uh, I mean, it's good to have the information out there. Thank you guys for watching. As always, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.